Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the Range Now. Today we're looking at a Springfield Hellcat OSP in flat dark earth finish. Now this gun has been around since September of 19, but they recently came out with a flat dark earth finish and I think it looks beautiful. Same pistol, it has a three inch barrel, tritium front dot, a U-notch in the rear, five pound flat face trigger with a trigger bar safety in there and a 13 and 11 round magazine which is the highest capacity for a gun this size in the industry it is an extremely nice shooting handgun i've owned the other one that is not osp since september but now i have an osp with the shield sms shield micro sight c compact okay smsc red dot on here it's a four moa red dot i think i have it sighted in i tweaked it a little bit since i got it out of the case it does have a polymer housing a polymer lens and i'm real excited to have this you know it's got the front serrations this has the whole package for ccw and it weighs right around 24 ounces loaded with 14 rounds and that is pretty good so let's take a few shots here see how well i've got this dot sighted in i have been resisting dots but my aging eyes is making me rethink that whole red dot on pistols uh and the, the advantages of them let's see it's really easy to pick up especially in the sunlight and 92 degrees out here and it's uh it's easy to pick up. It, it kind of takes the, a little bit of the, how do I say, uh, it, it's kind of cheating. That's the best way to say it. When you got this dot here, if I do my job, and it'll take care of the rest. Not bad. I've been resisting red dots on handguns, but when I got this, I got pretty excited about it and you know i love the flat dark earth finish a big fan of the hellcat ever since it came out i said this thing is a great ccw gun you know it, it's the whole package it's nice capacity it's uh, small enough to carry it's easy enough to carry and it has a uh, red dot on here that is something worth checking out at least from my vantage point because i've got aging eyes and i am left eye dominant dominant so i'm trying to figure this out now here is the 11 round magazine all right it does have a ba uh, extended base plate on there for three finger contact the grip my hands are really sweaty right now so this is the first real time that i had to deal with this with the hellcat and that adaptive grip texturing is giving me a nice firm grip on it which is really what you want and uh I tell you what, take your handgun out on a sweaty day like this. I, even the rounds when I load them up are burning my thumbs when I'm uh, when I'm loading. So let's see how. I'm only looking at the dot. I could get into this. The. Uh, it's, takedown lever right there is boiling hot it's not because of the rounds fired it's because the sun has been beating down on this ah go figure i missed the last one but i am enjoying this let me go ahead and load it up and we'll fire it some more all right backed up just a little bit let's see how well i do with using this red dot Wow, I'm impressed. Love the 13 round magazine. I said in my tabletop review, that the 13 round magazine offers the best advantage when carrying with this pistol. You're carrying around 14 rounds and under, with under 25 ounces, actually 24 and a quarter to be exact. So this is the flat dark earth model. The first time I had 
the all black model in 13 rounds but now we've got the 11 round mag and for a subcompact nine millimeter handgun this is yet to give me a failure of any kind and i'm thinking this red dot you know too many people have mentioned that they love red dots on handguns and i've resisted i resisted and a lot of people are saying you have to give that another try people i know and respect use them and so here i am and um, i'm seeing the light as for the advantages I'm, I'm impressed let's go with the rabbit i'm jumping that tombstone there, there we go it makes it so much easier which i certainly can can use in my uh shooting lifestyle so i love red dots on rifles i've resisted red dots on handguns but now that i had a limited time a little bit of time i think with practice this whole thing's going to work out for me i'm very pleased with it love the handgun the dots working fine and i think i've got it sighted in pretty well so i'm going to do a comparison with the springfield hellcat with the red dot versus the iron sights and see which one that I can shoot better. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.